disappointing return for you back to Wonderland a few days ago, but uh, Melbourne City managed to follow that up with 3-0 win over Adelaide. Um, I guess playing in such a short space of time as well as making a return uh, to the place um, of your old side, like, like what's the last few days been like normally? Um, it was a lot. It was a quick turnaround, which I don't think we've had that quick turnaround this season, but I think we reacted really well. I think we were, we, we prepared well for Wanderers, but unfortunately sometimes it happens in football. Um, you don't have great, great games as a team, so sometimes that happens, but I think we bounced back and I think it was really good that we had that close turnaround. We had that time together to get through it, work together, you know, go through what we went wrong. We act, reacted really well and got the good result against Adelaide. Um, you guys flew straight to Adelaide from Sydney, didn't you? You didn't come back to Melbourne, right? Yeah, yeah. What What was that experience like? Just going, uh, like, just going straight to Adelaide, not having a chance to come back home, like, like doing like a proper road trip, I guess. Yeah, um, it was hectic, I guess, because it's quick turnaround. Make sure we don't miss our flight or anything. Um, but it was good. I think you know we we had that time together, so you don't normally everyone goes back and dwells on the game by themselves when you have a game like that. So I was thinking it's good that we had that time together to you know sit down talk about it um you know but instead of dwelling on our own talk about it and get everything out there and then and then move on and yeah get it all ready for the next game uh how have you settled into things uh down in melbourne are you, are you enjoying uh like do you think you made the right decision are you enjoying your time down there yeah i'm absolutely loving it i think i did make the right decision i'm um, having you know i'm loving the season i'm having so far and i love the girls the team the club everything's great uh, now, now, as I understand it, this wasn't the first time that Rado uh, tried to get you down to Melbourne. He tried before you signed your last contract uh, with the Wanderers, um, and then you guys worked together with um, uh, at the at the Under Twenty Women's World Cup. H how much uh, of an influence was Rado in getting you to come down to the city? Uh, massive, I think, and also having him for young Matildas, that was massive. Um, he was great, you know. I was close to coming a couple seasons ago, so just having him working with him closely through that young Matilda space and then you know what he's done with this team over the past two years I think he's been a massive influence into coming down here. Now obviously Rado is, is not the coach anymore yeah. um what's the transition been like to Dario because Dario has been around the setup as well uh, I was just uh, was the, the yeah I remember how to speak eventually was the transition <laughs> seamless? Yeah it was I think they're very similar you know Dario's probably learnt from Rado over the last couple of years, but yeah, his Dario's great, and you know I think it was the smoothest transition possible, and you know it didn't show in our playing or anything. So I think yeah, it's been great. Dario's been great. You've got the Melbourne Derby coming up this weekend, uh, and that's been pushed back I think 26 hours uh, because of heat and um, other weather in Melbourne. How crucial is having that extra extra day to prepare and just rest up after such a quick road trip? I think it is crucial. Um, you know, we've had the two quick turnarounds, and then, you know, if we did have to play, I have more like enough confidence that we could have done it. But I think you know the extra recovery is great. Um, you know, it's also an extra day to work on the game plan and you know rest our bodies, but also work on things we want to work going into that game. Um, and it'll be great because there's so much hype, you know, going into Derby. So. Um, we're all excited and yeah, can't wait for it. Um, one of your teammates is making headlines left, right and centre in Daniela Galic. Um, you obviously be a little bit familiar with her uh, from your time in um, MPL New South Wales, even though you obviously you weren't on the same team. What's it like getting to play with? Um, what's it like getting to play with Daniela? Oh, she's great. Um, you know, for her age, I can't imagine what she's going to be like in a, a couple years in this league. She's going to flourish, whether she's still here, whether she goes overseas. Um, which is well, she's well on her way for that. Um, she's great, you know, technical, very smart. Um, and I think she's just, you know, she's doing so good here. She did so good over the past couple of months with the young Matildas and in the MPL. And yeah, she's just a great player and I can't wait to see where things go for her. What's one of your goals for this season? Um, I just want to have the best season possible I can. Scoring goals um, is my main one. I want to score goals or assist goals. I want to help the team in the most possible way I can to win. Um, and just have the best possible season. Yeah, just, yeah.